this is Mr. WAPK here with some gameplay and a review of Echnero Demon Hunters. Echnero Demon Hunters is an action RPG indie game and I have early access to it on Steam so I'm gonna check it out and show you guys and I think you'll really like it. So we get to pick either prowess, fortitude, or cunning. Prowess is more like a strength berserker type fighter. Fortitude is more of a tank defense type fighter. And cunning is more critical hit, like special attack type thing. Ninja. Sounds pretty awesome. But I'm going to pick prowess because I like charging in. Just hitting a whole bunch of monsters in the head with swords and stuff. He looks pretty awesome too with his dual axes. So, I'm gonna pick prowess. I'm gonna do the tutorial mission so I make sure I know what I'm doing. <laughs> the art's pretty cool. I do wish it was in color though, that art back there. So we got some elders and some bounty masters. It's pretty awesome. Left kick, left click to move about the world. Click and hold to maintain your movement. Left click on a monster to attack it. And click and hold to keep attacking. Shift to hold your position while attacking. Right click to use your primary ability. Left click on your ability. Okay, and that red thing is my health gauge. The blue thing is my energy for my abilities and gotta, if I need to escape, just hit escape. Also, right into it, got some insane wolves. Oh, you just got one hit. They're called Yokai, and we're on Yomi Island. Karma Shards, that's what those red things are called, Karma Shards. So you pick them up and it refuels your health, recharges you. I guess it's a currency too, so that's pretty cool. The top left there, I see I have 500 of those, so it's pretty awesome. All these insane wolves are all over the place. Just keep on one hitting them. Wonder how hard it'll get after a while. Okay, let's see if I can figure out where I have to go. Yeah, I don't think this is the way you're supposed to go. There's a map in the top right corner. So, let's see. Nope. This, I don't think this is the way either. Nope, this is not the way. Okay. Let's try over here to the left. I'm thinking this is the place I have to go. Yep, here we go. It's more insane wolves. Oh, Armando Harbinger. I just three hit that guy. Not even touching me. That was easy. Okay, now where do I go? Where do I have to go? I like the art and the graphics of this game. I wish they were more colorful though. It seems a little dark. But I think that's just the, that's just the graphic style. I do like it though. So let's see if I can find out where I have to go. Can't be up here. There's nothing up here anymore. Maybe down the stairs. Yeah, there's the elder. I got an omelet infused with the karmic signature of Yomi Village. That's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna go to the village and rest and speak to the bounty master okay okay it looks like I rested up and got some plum wine got a whole bunch of gifts from the village that's awesome okay okay so you talk to that guy if you want consumables okay the elder let's talk to the bounty master let's get a quest What's this place here? 
Uh, wicked beasts. Gotta kill some wicked beasts up at the Shigamori River. So it's easy. 595 XP and 50 of those red shards. Let's go hunting. Shigamori Village. Okay, let's find that. Shigamori Village. The path is abandoned. Demon Wolf Runt. There's a lot of wolves in this game. I don't know what that was, but I just picked something up, I think. Can't wait to see what else they have for monsters in this game. There's a lot of wolves. Demon Wolves. They do look awesome though, they look nasty, beastly. So you can get combos and all that stuff, that's pretty awesome. It's like hack and slash. Awesome. Oh, that ability looked cool. Also, you can break into these baskets. They give you some shards. Ah, oh, I wish they would just come towards you and have to walk over to them. That'd be nice, cause I'm lazy. Oh, there's a blood stain on the ground. I wonder where that goes to. of a combo you can build up to get like a hundred like combo or something I wonder what that would do you got a lot of spikes coming out of them they look demonic I'm trying to figure out what that picture is next to my XP on the top left corner I'm trying to figure out what that picture is about it looks like he has an eye patch, some kind of samurai helmet on. Not exactly sure what that's all about. Looks like I got some soldier greaves. Pick them up. There we go. Taking all these wolves down. Oh, we got a samurai helm. We got lethal. Sweet. Seven kill combo. Racking up the XP now. See if I can find where I have to go now. It's a little bit confusing on where you have to go because you just have to kind of find your way. You don't have an arrow pointing where to go or anything like that. I guess it's kind of nice because you don't have to just follow a set path. Like You don't have to just follow an arrow or something. You can kind of walk around, enjoy the scenery, kill some wolf runts that are jumping over fences at you, it's pretty awesome, what was here, some kind of ruins of a temple, what happened here, what is that thing, is that a little troll, infected Anoi elder, that's pretty cool, it looked like a troll, Here comes Spine Ripper. He got some spines in his back. Some spikes. Oh, I took him down. Dropped some Focus Samurai Greaves. Some kind of sapphire thing over there. I don't know what that said. Okay. Let's make sure we get all this. Ruby Ninja Mask. Gotta make sure we get all our stuff in these baskets and chests. I don't want to leave anything behind. Okay, it looks like I got everything now. I'm just gonna make sure. Yeah, I got everything. Okay, let's go to the village. Mission complete! 
Wicked Beasts. Whoa, I leveled up. Almost level 3 too, sweet, that's awesome. What's a threat bonus? That must be my combo bonuses. Okay, so I can, I can level up in Prowess, Fortitude, or Cunning and get a bonus in one of them. When I pick Prowess, because that's what my ninja guy is all about. Sweet, leveled up everything. So you speak to Trainer Takeda for abilities and masteries. Takeda, Takeda, Takeda. Okay. Oh, that red icon is my level. It just changed to level two. That's awesome. Okay, so let's check out the inventory. We got a machete, machete, mal malachite, katana, malachite, katana. Okay, let's equip that. That looks better than these axes. Looks like it. it. Has 10 to 16 damage. That has 4 to 20. I'd rather get more consistent than less. Let's put on this Ruby Ninja Mask too. It gives me power plus 3. Oh, look at that. Got a Ninja Mask. Got some plum wine. Only lasts for 10 minutes though. Already got them Soldier Greaves on. And all that other stuff is level three I think so I can't put any of that on looks pretty awesome though so let's see what else is there what's in this menu okay so looks like I've checked everything out so I'm just gonna go ahead and exit and I give this game in its state in the early access I give it a four out of five and I will come back to this and review it when it gets updated and gets released to the full version um, out of the early access, the official release. I will come back and I will review it. And I'm looking forward to that because I really think I will give it a 5 out of 5 because I'm really hoping it's going to get even better and improve more and more and I think it'll be awesome even though it is awesome now I think it'll be even more awesome so thanks for watching and thank you to spicy horse the developer and publisher for making this possible and making this awesome game and see you next time